All right, the year is 1965, and Muhammad Ali is scheduled to defend his heavyweight boxing title in a rematch against Sonny Liston in Lewiston. It's an unlikely venue for such a world-class sporting event. Brian Daly has turned this real-life saga into a musical comedy called Come Out Swingin'. 207's Peggy Kaiser talked to him and actor Zach Stern and started by asking Daly what made him want to tell the story in this way. Well, the fight was a monumental event, and it brought out strong feelings in people. So I thought those feelings ought to be expressed in song and dance. Of so course. I wrote that a musical. That makes complete sense <laughs> yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> and Zach, Zach Stern, you play Mickey St. Pierre, I the do. lead character in this musical comedy. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your character and a couple of the other major characters we would meet? Well, my character is the second assistant deputy city manager of Lewiston. <laughs> That's and a long title. He, it is, but he's very proud of it, and he is definitely the cheerleader of the show. He really gets everyone excited about the fight and, and makes everyone feel good about it. Um, and, and he has these great relationships with these other characters, and they're, it's like you wrote these characters for us. Because they're all, it's so well cast. There's Rita, who's in the cafe, who's sassy and, and just ridiculously funny. There's Preston Taylor, who's just extremely suave. It's, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of fun characters. So tell me a little bit about when this takes place. Is the play leading up to the event, or is the play taking place after the event has occurred? Well, most of the show takes place before the fight, but we do get a look at how things changed after the controversial end of the fight. Okay. And do you stray from what history would tell? Have you have you taken a little <laughs> literary li uh, liberty with the with the plot line? Well, the events are real, mm -hmm. but the characters are made up. Okay. All right. Now you have. I know you've done local theater, but this was your first attempt at writing the play and the score and the lyrics and everything else, that sounds like an enormous undertaking to me. <laughs> yeah, it took a while. Yeah, yeah. I thought I would just write the book and the lyrics, but along with the words came rhythms, yeah. and then with the rhythms came melodies, and by Godfrey I was writing songs. So searching I keep so searching. And then uh, Hans Indigo Spencer helped me get the songs down on paper mm -hmm. as sheet music, and Mike McClure made the orchestrations for the show. Unbelievable. So it's been a labor of love, and it's taken you a while to get this from square one to stage. Is that right? Yes, it has. Zach, when the audience comes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to the, yes. the full house, um, what can they expect? What, what kind of show is this? This is everything you could ever want from a musical. If you're looking for big production, Broadway style, you know, big production numbers, we have that. If you're looking for a beautiful du a duet, a love duet, we have that. We've got an R&B soul number. We've got a blues swing number. We have everything you could ever want in a musical. And what makes it just even better is that uh, it just takes place in Lewiston. It's being done in Lewiston. It's, it's at the Franco Center. It's, it's, it's very exciting. And as he said, Come Out Swinging will make its debut at the Gendron Franco Center in Lewiston shows Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you'll find more information about the show on our website and mobile app.